there, learners! How are you today? Are you ready for another fun learning adventure? By the way, I am Teacher Tintin. Welcome to Math is Easy, Math is Fun, Math is Love. In mathematics, you're enthusiastic. For you to get ready, take a deep breath, prepare your ball pen and notebook, listen up, take down notes, focus, and have fun. I hope you are now prepared for our lesson. Okay, let's have a short activity first. These are the directions. I want you to look around your room for 5 seconds. Have you seen a thing with four sides? Good! What is it? Yes, your notebook, tables, frame, door, and so many more. Those are in shape called quadrilaterals. Based on your activity, our lesson is all about quadrilaterals. For today's lesson, we will be discussing the relationship of one quadrilateral to another quadrilateral. For example, square to rhombus. Pupils, you are expected to relate one quadrilateral to another quadrilateral. For example, square to rhombus. Second, determine the relationship of one quadrilateral to another. Third, appreciate the importance of knowing the relationship of one quadrilateral to another. How can we relate one quadrilateral to another quadrilateral? For example, square to rhombus. Listen up, focus, and learn. First, let us know what a quadrilateral is. Quad means four, lateral means sides. Quadrilateral is a four-sided polygon. Polygon is a closed plane figure. Again, a quadrilateral is a four-sided closed plane figure having interior angles that add to 360 degrees. Like this, this, and this. Now, you have noticed that all of the shapes you've seen were quadrilaterals showing different forms in terms of length and angles. In this diagram, let us now learn their names and how they are related to each other. Under the quadrilateral are parallelogram and trapezoid. Parallelogram is a quadrilateral that has opposite sides parallel and equal in length. And also, opposite angles are equal. The measures of angle A and angle C are the same. The measures angle B and angle D are the same. The rectangle. A rectangle has four sides and four right angles. The 90 degrees. Opposite sides are parallel and equal in length. The rhombus. A rhombus is a quadrilateral with four equal length sides. Opposite sides are parallel and opposite angles are equal. The measures of angle A and angle C are the same. The measures angle B and angle D are the same. The square. A square has four equal sides and four right angles. The 90 degrees. Its opposite sides are parallel and opposite angles are also the same in measure. The trapezoid. A trapezoid is a quadrilateral that has only one pair of opposite sides that are parallel. Have you noticed something? Great! Do they have connection to one another? Right! How are they related to one another? First, rectangle, rhombuses, and squares are all parallelograms. Second, a square is always a rectangle and a type of rhombus. 
Third, trapezoids are not parallelograms. And last, not all rectangle and rhombus could be a square. Let's do the following activities to know if you've learned something. Activity 1. Read the properties of the quadrilaterals and then put a check in the box if it determines the shape and cross if not. Here are the properties. Number 1. One pair of opposite sides. Parallelogram, Rectangle, Rhombus, Square, Trapezoid. Number 2. Both pairs of opposite sides are parallel. Parallelogram, Rectangle, Rhombus, Square, Trapezoid. Number 3. It has an interior angle of 360 degrees. Parallelogram, rectangle, rhombus, square, trapezoid. Number 4. It has 4 right angles or 90 degrees. Parallelogram, rectangle, rhombus, square, trapezoid. Number 5. The measures of its opposite angles are the same. Parallelogram, rectangle, rhombus, square, trapezoid. How many correct answers did you get? Great job! Very good! Give yourself a round of applause! Let's proceed to activity number 2. Tell whether the information given is true or false. You have 3 seconds to answer each statement. Number 1. A rhombus is always a square. The answer is false. Number 2. A rectangle is a parallelogram. The answer is true. Number 3. A square is always a rectangle. The answer is true. Number 4. Rectangles and squares are all parallelogram. The answer is true. Number 5. Trapezoids are also parallelograms. The answer is false. Number 6. Rhombus and square are exactly the same. The answer is false. Number 7. Trapezoids and parallelograms have parallel sides. The answer is true. Number 8. Quadrilaterals have a total interior angle of 360 degrees. The answer is false. Number 9. All rectangles are square. The answer is false. Number 10. A square is a type of rhombus. The answer is true. Have you got 8 or more correct answers out of 10? Great job! Very good! Give yourself a round of applause. Always remember that all quadrilaterals have relationships to one another. For example, rectangles, rhombuses, 
and squares are all parallelograms. A square is always a rectangle and a type of rhombus. Trapezoids are not parallelograms. If you always want to learn from our lesson, you have to listen, write down notes, focus, and just enjoy. Did you learn something from our lesson? Good job! See you next time! Bye-bye!